Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening up a Limo Studio, Limo Studio, L-I-M, L-I-M-O, Limo, Limo Studio. There's the model number and things like that. This is the 600 watt um, lighting kit. We bought it from Amazon. It was $49.50, which I've heard they go as low as $40 sometimes, but mine, I guess we just didn't catch it on the right sale. So look around, um, you might find it cheaper than that sometimes. Um, we usually film in the kitchen. Um, the kitchen has the best natural lighting as far as even lighting the room. Uh, the dining room in here has just two windows on one side of the room and it's a nicer room. We like filming in here, but it's just not, it's not very bright in here. And the light fixtures, if Tammy can point up here, tends to make things a little dark and a little bit of a yellow tint. So, um, so what we did was we wanted to get some lighting. And if you're, if you do any kind of video or photography, Sooner or later, you're going to want to buy a light kit anyway. And for $49.50, this is not a bad deal because they have some that are, you know, four or $500. That's for even just the entry level ones. They have them up to the thousands of dollars. So well, again, this is, a, this is an entry level set. It's not, um, it's not by any means something a professional would want, like a professional photographer or something would want, but definitely good for entry level um, video and, and photography which a lot of people said that they've used theirs for years. I looked at some reviews. Uh, they said they used theirs for many, many years. Um, actually, the bulbs are what, what ended up going out on them, and you can always replace the bulbs. It's not that like you can't replace them. Um, it says not to cut deeply, so I was being really careful just to cut. Now see why you don't want to cut deeply. The stuff's right on top with no piece of cardboard on top of this. It would have been nice if they stuck a little piece of cardboard on top, but it's so packed, I don't think they could have. Um, anything else you want to mention about lighting that I can did I mention at all? Um, so you get the two umbrellas. It comes with two umbrellas, two tall stands, a table stand, and, um, and the three bulbs, of course. I'm not sure this is some kind of pouch. I'll open it all up. This is the directions. Oh, it comes with a bag for your bulbs. That's cool. That must be what that is, is a, cause it's got a, it shows a picture of like a cooler looking thing right here. I bet you that's for your bulbs to go in. Um, comes with a, a bag, like a, a long duffel like bag to hold the stands. And then I'm just gonna pull stuff out of the, uh, the bag, the box. This is the, they're 45 watt bulbs. Um, that's, I think that's two of them and this is one. That's the bulbs right there. And these are probably the, the plug-in heads for the, for the bulbs, these three. I'm just guessing. Uh, and then you've got two of these, I'm assuming these are the tall stands. And you have one more stand, which is the tabletop stand and that's it that's 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 what you get with this set um give me just a second to well that's all right i can just keep going um the two tall stands they're telescoping stands you can see they extend out pretty high and you just tighten them up to hold them in place. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. And one of the first things I noticed is they do have little plastic caps on the bottom, so you could lay that somewhere, it's not gonna scratch up anything, so. Yeah, that's nice. So there's this, there's one of the stands. And here's the second one. Definitely want to tighten those up. <laughs> Don't want anything to collapse on there. They're a little hard to slide down right at first. Uh, once you get them slid down, they're not bad, but getting them kind of going at first is kind of a pain, but they slide up and down pretty easily after that. I'm 
Okay. And then you've got the tabletop stand, which is just a short stand. You can sit on the floor uh, for backlighting, or you can sit on a table um, to light up one side or something like that. Uh, again, it's just a shorter stand. And we will probably put this um, on the floor behind us, um, so it'll kind of backlight us a little bit. And it also um, extends that that high. That's actually that's a lot higher than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting it to be that high. It is leaning a little bit. Oh, there we go. So that's higher than I was expecting. Then it'll go down to that to that tall. Um, I'll leave it right here. These, like I said, I'm pretty sure these are the 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 heads, the plugs for the light the lighting heads. For the bulb to screw into it, and uh, you can plug them in, all that good stuff. Yeah. And it's got, looks like a pretty decent long, uh, looks like a long uh, cord too, which that's important because that way you, you don't want to drag these things everywhere trying to plug them in. That's, uh, that's a decently long cord because um, I looked at some of them that only had cords on them about that long, you had to plug extension cords in them. This one, You'll actually be able to plug that one in to, uh, to the wall, even if the stand's all the way up. So that's pretty nice. And then this goes to, let me see. Okay. That locks it in place. And then this actually goes onto your stand. And then you, you've got an on off switch in the back. And then, like I said, you adjust the, the tilt like that. And the, uh, I'll just do one of these so you can kind of see how it looks. And normally you're not gonna have the umbrella on this, but, but they, they work pretty much the same. Um, I'm gonna save those so we can keep them clean. Yeah, that's got good, good nylon material. And what you do is you slide this one into this little hole, like this. And your lights, of course, are gonna screw in here and it shines the light on here. And it, and this, you point, I, I always thought it was reflective, like you pointed it like this at your subject, you don't. You point it like that. So this light, this is where your person is, is in front of it, and it diffuses the light out in front of them. Um, so that's pretty nice. So let me get a bulb out and show you what one of those look like. And again, it looks like you want to keep your boxes from the pictures they show. It looks like you want to keep your boxes to repack these in. Um, so if you want to take them anywhere, for us, we're going to be leaving them right here at the house, so it really doesn't matter for us necessarily. But if you ever wanted to take your your uh, your equipment with you somewhere to actually do a photo shoot or whatever at somewhere else, you'd want to um, you'd want to take them, you know, keep them in the boxes. Uh, I've also always read, and I don't know if it's true or not. You try not to touch this any more than you have to up here, the little curls, because you can actually make them uh, reduce the life of the bulbs. That's what one of the bulbs look like. Um, they have um, some vents around the bottom to let out some of the heat because these kind of bulbs do get pretty hot. Uh, it also has vents underneath there um, to where it lets out some of the heat. And then you basically just, without poking myself in the eye with the umbrella, just like that. And I've got a plug over here. Let me, let me turn it around this way. off and presto 
should light up pretty evenly on the front. Does it light up pretty evenly on the front of that? Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. And you can see it lights up the, the subjects pretty decently. And you can slide this umbrella back and forth some too. So where if you want it, um, if you want to look closer to the light, you can. That's the wrong one. It's a pretty bright light. Just like that. So, so that's the that's the kit you get. You get two of the umbrellas, um, one short stand, the two larger stands, three of the bulb heads, three of the bulbs, and um, the carrying kits and everything to go with it. So, um, hopefully, what I'll do is I'll set it up how we're going to set it up. My turn was off. Um, that's pretty bright. Um, I'm going to set up the way I'm, uh, we plan on setting it up, and we'll do a light test, and you can kind of see what it looks like without the lights. And then we'll turn the lights on and let you see what it looks like with the lights on. We'll see how much of a difference it really makes. See if it was worth pay, paying $50, $50 for them. Okay, we experimented a little bit and, and we have pretty much the layout we want to use. Um, I end up using the tabletop one over on top of the table because our dining room table is so wide. If it was a very narrow table, I could have put it on the floor, you know, on this side of it or a square table. Since it wasn't, we wanted to get it closer. That'll work perfect. And actually, if we have two people, we can scoot it over and move it over to the little side to where both of those are getting the light. It works really good. So if you come over and see how Ashley is, yeah. and also let me mention the umbrellas. The other way, you can have them both ways. And I said the other way because everything I watched on like YouTube and set up videos and stuff like that, they had to turn the other way. The other way is diffuse the light, like soften the light on you. Um, this way it reflects more light at you. So these are a little bit brighter when you turn this way. It still diffuses the light, but it's brighter. And, and we didn't have enough light when they were turned the other way. So this is actually, we brought her in as a guinea pig. This is actually with no light, just our, just the, the little bit of light outside and um, the just the overhead light. Yeah, that one. So this is her right now. And now if I turn the lights on. With one. Can you reach on? With two. And then this one is just kind of like a backlight. With three. So anyway, this is our setup from now on. Um, this is how we're gonna do things. If we have to, the good thing about these are, if we have to, we can take them into the in the kitchen. If we wanna do a cooking video, we can set them up around the kitchen and, and, and set them up. So it's it's pretty portable. And so you just gotta be careful with the bulbs, not to whack them on stuff. So, so anyway, hope you enjoyed seeing this. Um, I did wanna show one more thing. Um, the little bag that you put the bulbs in. The challenge is opening the bag. That's true. Um, it looks like you have to save the car, the styrofoam and the box. So make sure that you save everything. And I don't know why it's uh, like that, but you basically fit all three of these cardboard boxes in there side by side. And that'll hold your bulbs and that'll keep them protected from getting broken. So, so it's pretty cool that they give you at least the packing stuff to where you can take them uh, with you places. Uh, they also give you the bag for the stands and things like that. So I think that's pretty cool. So uh, I think it'll be a good kit. I think it's definitely worth the 50 bucks. Um, I wish the bulbs were a little bit brighter for really dark days or if it was nighttime outside, but, uh, but I think it'll work good for ours. Uh, like I said, these are entry level, not professional grade stuff. So if we ever do get to the next level, we'll just buy three new bulbs because the stands and the, and the light heads are perfectly fine. We would just get different, brighter bulbs. So, so at least the, the basics are already here. So I uh, hope you enjoy that and thanks for watching.